This week, it's the final day of the 2016 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. I got it for you! Yes! Four We've got 320 anglers representing 84 campuses right here on Lake Pickwick. There's a lot on the line this week on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Last week on the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, we launched day one onto Lake Pickwick from McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama. 160 of the best collegiate teams in the country made the run to Northern Alabama to compete for two days, looking for the opportunity to become champions. With little current and intense fishing pressure, anglers found the bite tough early on day one, but those who stuck with it were well rewarded. And back in Florence for the day one weigh-in, teams lined up ready to step to the scales. The UNA's Kobe Luttrell and Martin McCravey locked up fourth. Auburn University's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings are in third with five for 21.56. The University of Alabama's John Davis and Peyton McGinnis finished the day in second with 22.19. And it was Louisiana State University at Shreveport's James Kimbrough and Devin Doremus standing on top with five that pushed the scales to 23.06. Here's a look at the top 10 at the end of day one. Back in McFarland Park for launch on the second and final day, Kimbrough and Doremus are focused, ready to get this going. And right now, the that first 30 minutes is the biggest key in the uh, whole situation, whole deal. I mean, if you're not there in the first 30 minutes, it's pretty tough to get them to fire up after that. The University of Alabama's John Davis and Peyton McGinnis are in second, less than a pound behind the leaders. Uh, it's definitely going to be tough fishing. It's been tough fishing all week, and yesterday we had two big bites, and we're going to have to try to match that again today to have the same kind of bag. Getting right into day two coverage, we'll keep things rolling with the Crimson Tides, John Davis and Peyton McGinnis. And we put up on the spot where we caught the big one at yesterday and just try to hopefully there's more here ready to eat this morning. Smallmouth. Smallmouth. Here's one we caught this one. It's 15 inch or two. Moving on, we'll check in with Auburn University's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings. They start the day in third. Third place is a, is a great place to be sitting um, after day one or, or going into the final day, whatever you, you know, that's, that's a great place to be sitting. And as far as the pressure, I think we both have a lot of fun on the water. This is just kind of what we love to do. So we go out there and uh, just appreciate the, the fact that we're able to be out there. And that's what we kind of focus on, just have fun with it. We're on pig patrol today. Every time we uh, catch a good one or call, squeeze it and do some high fives and give each other knuckles and stuff. So just kind of a good luck thing. Keep us fishing happy. LSU at Shreveport's James Kimbrough and Devin Doremus are your tournament leaders. Fishing light and deep, they're hooked up with their first fish of the morning. LSUS is a really small school, so we don't have like, you know, a big basketball or football or baseball team. Uh, we've got a basketball team and a wrestling team and a fishing team. So it's really awesome to uh, kind of put our team on the map. You know, they had a team a couple years ago that fished these deals. Uh, they kind of, the guys graduated, kind of, you know, kind of went away. We brought it back and, uh, it's awesome, you know, to bring the name back, you know, the fish against the, the toughest group of college anglers, I think, that's ever fished in the history of college fishing. It's still early here on day one, but the top teams are off to a good start. Stay with us. We've got a lot more championship coverage coming up from Lake Pickwick and the 2016 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. It's in our stomping grounds 
in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboard. Reliability starts here. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature by Towboat US, take us with you on the water, and by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Florence, Alabama for the 11th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. It's also the home of the University of North Alabama, the two-time and defending Cabela's School of the Year winners. And it's with UNA's Kobe Luttrell and Martin McCravey that we'll pick up tournament coverage. We're fishing the same school that we was fishing yesterday. Started out this morning, lost a couple of good fish, and they're, they're spread out over this little flat, right on the edge of the ledge, on the, up from the ledge. And we're just fan casting this ledge on our waypoints, trying to catch them, fishing the same school we was fishing yesterday. Like most, Kobe and Martin are targeting schools of bass grouped on the deep ledges along the river channel. Oh, While most spot. of the field are throwing spoons or big crankbaits, Latrell and McCravey are going small, fishing drop shots on light tackle. Now we can do this. Nothing you can do is cast, they're just so spread out. Why are you doing this all day and grind it? We're out fishing, I just gotta take care of it. Here I am thinking he didn't have any size to. Damn, I'm an idiot. Get in there, get in there. Roof, get of the the roof of his mouth is pretty good hook set. Auburn University's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings started the day in third. They're hooked up with their second fish of the morning. Where's he coming? Where's he coming? Where's he coming? Oh, he's up under the boat, dude. I'm oh, trying to knock him off, dude. Good deal. Give me some numbers on that one. Yeah, you worry about that. All right, get mine. Keep them fired up, man. We got two in the box. That one's pushing four pounds. It's close. And, uh, we're pretty confident. We caught them. We had all our weight yesterday by 10:30, so 
we can do the same today, then I'd feel really confident going into the end of the day at least. Yeah, all right, school's that way. Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> That's where we need to be casting anyways. Yep. Down river. Down current, yeah, up current. We need to be casting up current, bringing it down river. These fish are so pressured this week, like I was saying. It's, you graph over them and that scatters them out. People don't realize your prop wash goes down, you know, 12 to 15 feet, and you can see it if you go back over them. That just scatters them out and they won't bite anything. Just need one stupid one to bite and then all the smart ones start biting, hopefully. This is John Davis and Peyton McGinnis from the University of Alabama. They started the day in second and are one of the few teams that have a stretch of water to themselves. I don't think we're really doing a whole lot different. We just found a school that we have to ourselves and everybody else is sharing water. Um, and that's one of the big things. That was our whole goal this week was to try to find something we have to ourselves. And we found one other school we thought we'd have to ourselves. And that LSU Shreveport team that's in the lead is actually on that school and they stayed on it all day. So we never even tried to fish it yesterday. And talked to them this morning, told them we let them have it. Try to get these schools to bite. This is the hometown team from the University of North Alabama, Cody Luttrell and Martin McCravey. With one in the box, this will make two. He ain't any good. Auburn's Birdshaw and Jennings have a spot dialed in. And for now, they've got it all to themselves. There's a fish. Huh? That's a good one. Okay. Coming up, so that's a bass. Ah! Oh, it's a real good one. Okay. That's okay. Yes, sir, son. Oh, nice. Good deal. That's the kind we need. How big is that one? Five, maybe. Digging, dude. Jigs fin sometimes when they don't vibe, but that's okay. That's a four pounder. Four pounder. Stay with us. This tournament might come down to the final cast right here on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Stay on top of the latest from the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series on Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook or check out our website at collegiatebasschampionship.com. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there.
put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Bass Angler Magazine brings you more. If you want to learn the latest techniques, win your next bass tournament, or simply catch more bass, then Bass Angler Magazine is for you. From California to Florida, finesse the froggin'. Bass Angler Magazine is jam-packed with how-to information from the world's best pros. Published every season, Bass Angler Magazine is crammed with fresh new articles designed to help anglers of all levels learn more and catch more bass. Sign up at BassAnglerMag.com today. Bass Angler is also available at your local Cabela's. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Florence Lauderdale Tourism. For the sixth year in a row, the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship is launched onto Lake Pickwick in Florence, Alabama, and we'll be returning again in May of 2017 with the biggest event in collegiate bass fishing. For all the details, visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. Getting back to tournament coverage, Auburn University is on the move, pulling back up to their day one hole, and right alongside them, the team from LSU Shreveport. Uh, well, we just pulled up on our one of our main spots, and uh, the leaders are sitting out here. Uh, pretty sure it's not where they caught them yesterday. It doesn't really matter, though. There's other people here. So hopefully one of us will catch fish. Small fees, big five-pounder. Oh, yes, sir. Keep him low. Don't find him. This is the hometown team from the University of North Alabama. Cody Luttrell and Martin McCravey started the morning in fourth, two pounds behind the leaders. Yes. What waypoint was he on? Was you playing, Cass? Oh, I'm just Cass. <laughs> All right, then. LSU Shreveport and Auburn University are side by side, fishing the same school. Uh, you know, we pulled up to our school and they weren't firing, and so we ran to our next, uh, our second best spot, and that happened to be where Auburn uh, also pulled up on about the same time. So, um, you know, it's it's tough to just scrap everything when you catch, you know, a big bag to lead in the tournament. But uh, being able to do that's, you know, what what puts you at the top. If you just kind of stay with, with with what you're doing and just keep grinding, trying to trying to make it happen, it's never going to happen. With this school of fish fired up and feeding, both LSU Shreveport and Auburn University are loading up and beginning to distance themselves from the rest of the pack. There he is. Got Big him. one, dude. Oh my gosh. That might be a strike. That's got no, to be a strike. No, fight him like he's a bass. Don't ever think he's a strike. Dude, that's got to be a strike. Fight him like oh he's a bass. Oh my gosh. Fight him like he's a bass. That's got to be a strike the way he was shaking. Get ready, get ready. You coming up? Please be a bass. Oh, it's a bass! Mm. No. Yes. 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 All right. We got five, son. Catching up with Alabama's Davis and McGinnis, they've left the deep ledges and moved in shallow. Yeah, we decided to go shallow and hit a place we've always had luck, picking up a couple keepers in the past since we only have three fish and just a little bit of time to go. Um, all of our fish offshore disappeared, spread out. So it wasn't so much that we couldn't get them to bite, it was more that we just, they weren't there, so we were wasting our time. It just Did it just go through the net? Well, the championship up. may be slipping away, but the Tides still have their eyes on the Cavella School of the Year rankings. Put us somewhere around 34 pounds total for the tournament. 12? Yeah. 
Take your time, take your time. The UNA's Latrell and McCravey put two in the box early, but the clock is becoming oh, a factor. Please don't let this fish come off. It's gonna make him look quick. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Back on LSU at Tree Forts, Kimbrough and Devin Doremus. Oh, no. They're battling fish oh, for man. fish with Auburn's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings. God, dude. Please don't, please be a bad, please be a bad. With the clock ticking down, we'll check back with Marburn University's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings. Oh, that's the kind we need, son. I'm gonna troll to him, if I can. He's coming in, he's coming in. He's coming in. Come on, come on, baby, come on, he's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep him coming. He's coming in, yes, sir! Yes! Go, Cole. And that does it. Time is up. Coming up, we'll head back to McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama for the final weigh-in from the 2016 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. I promise to be ready anytime. I promise to love the sport just as much as you do. I promise to always be flexible. I promise to pull my weight and then some. I am Trilene, and I promise to never give up. Built with innovation, fueled by passion. Berkeley Trilene, America's most trusted fishing line. Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. We're gonna try out this new folding fillet knife from Bow Blade on these big grouper. We're gonna try to gut them and see how this thing works. Oh man, like butter. I mean, that, that, that doesn't get any easier. Golly, unbelievable. Right through like butter. I love the new gut knife from Bubble Blade. It's compact, the best of all. It's like a pocket knife, man. You just close that thing up and put it away. Love it, great little knife. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in cooler. Gill, technical fishing gear. 
by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. And by Gemini Jerseys, the leader in custom fishing apparel. Welcome back to Florence, Alabama. 160 of the best collegiate bass fishing teams have battled it out for the last two days, each looking to become champions. It was rough for us, man. We, uh, you know, we had a rough day yesterday. Had five little ones, so we went out and tried to catch, uh, tried to catch some big ones today, and you know, ended up with two little ones. So we went out there swinging for the fences today, and we got one to bite, and that was it. Yeah, man, it was really tough. Uh, we couldn't really find the fish today. We pre-fished on Wilson. The locking schedule kind of messes up. You know, our bite was later in the day, but uh, we got five today. So. Heading to the stage in McFarland Park, we'll get right to the top of the leaderboard. The University of North Alabama's Kobe Luttrell and Martin McCravey brought in five for 1460, giving them a two-day total of 3565 and fifth place. Also from the UNA, John Maynor and Colby Harville locked up fourth with five for 1641 and a two-day total of 3647. Bethel University's Evan O'Ree and John Garrett sacked up 1678, putting them into third with 3713. 1678. There you go. Y'all put your hands together for them. Great tournament. It means a lot to come this close and let everybody know that you know we have a chance of winning this thing and. It's on one of our favorite lakes, and we couldn't have been more thrilled to be here. Auburn University's Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings started the day in third. They're stepping up to the scales with a big five fish limit. They need a 15.58 to take the lead. I have a sneaking suspicion they've done it. They've done it by a big margin, 22.65, 44.21 so far for the tournament. Great job. And that leaves just one team. We're going to bring up to our stage our leaders after day one. LSU at Shreveport's James Kimbrough and Devin Doremus. Y'all put your hands together for LSUS. They need a 21-16 to take the lead. We're going to see if they get it done on day two. It settles in. Not quite. 15-52. That puts Auburn University as your 2016 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Champions. Hold it up high there, guys. This is Auburn's first national championship, actually, so it means a lot to us. It means a lot to our families. It means a lot to Auburn. It means a lot to our club. I mean, the list could go on, so, I mean, this is, this is awesome. Congratulations to Cole Birdshaw and Mitchell Jennings, your 2016 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Champions. Check out the complete list of results at collegiatebasschampionship.com. John Maynard and Colby Harville finished the day in fourth. They also picked up the Ranger Cup University Contingency Award. On behalf of Ranger Boats, I want to congratulate you $1,000 for being a part of the Ranger Cup University program. Congratulations. And finally, closing out the 2016 Cabela's School of the Year Award. A big tip of the hat to the team from Tuscaloosa. The University of Alabama clinches the title over one of the strongest fields in collegiate history. Here's the rest of the top 20. That'll do it for the 2016 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship from Lake Pickwick and Florence, Alabama. A big thanks to our friends from Florence Lauderdale Tourism. If you plan on being in the area, you'll want to check out visitflorenceal.com. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching.